All right, Student of the Gun Homeroom is brought to you by Crossbreed Ulcers. And the primary focus of this well, this segment is to be dangerous on demand. How can you be dangerous on demand? Well, you actually carry your friggin' gun. I know it's a novelty. It's a novel idea. It's crazy. You're like, what? Carry my gun? I'm not looking for trouble. I'm not expecting trouble. Mm, okay. Uh, our boys, somebody said to me, someone opined in one of our socialist media things like, well, I, I, I know you're always talking about the, the super tuck deluxe, but that doesn't work for women and women need other options. And so they should go somewhere besides crossbreed. And I said, mm, you person who made that assumption should probably listen a little bit louder because if, if you, Jared, have you followed crossbreed socialist media lately? I have not been on social media. Um, they're, they have spokes chicks. They have spokes chicks um, and spokes, I guess, women, uh, spokes girls, whatever. They're promoting their women's handgun options all the time, like every day. Uh, yeah, look, go to their social. If you go to their Instagram, it's, there's pictures of chicks with guns uh, all the time. They have options. They've got lots of options. So if you're a chick out there, or if you're if you're a lady, um, yet you, before you like, well, I mean, yeah, they have they have gun, they have holster for men, but they don't have stuff for women. Yeah, they do. The Instagram page is crossbreed underscore holsters. Crossbreed underscore holsters. Yeah. So look at that. Okay, look, a woman demonstrating how she could carry a gun. All right, you scroll down a little bit more. Look, another woman. Look, another woman, and another, and another. And the, look, there's a woman. There's a woman right there. Uh, women. There's women all over this thing. They're like, well, yeah, uh, you know, crossbreed is nice for men, but they don't have anything for women. Yes, they do. Now, here's the good news. Whether you are a woman or a man or uh, you're confused, doesn't matter, because you can go to crossbreedholsters.com, use the promotional code SOTG, and save some money. And then listen to the music. All right. Dangerous on demand. Carry your freaking gun. There's a fantastic example of several things. Number one, uh, I'm, I've been seeing this story and it says four dead Indiana mall shooting. That is when the media doesn't have a big enough number. So they have to throw the dead perp in there to bump the number up because four is more than three. Right, Jared? Mm. It's like when uh, the Columbine thing happened and they threw the two dead monsters into the into the death numbers. That's not right. That's not right. So. uh Jared, go ahead and, and hip us all to this story here. This is just breaking news. It broke last night. I was just looking up what they consider a definition of a uh, mass shooting, and it is when four or more people are struck by gunfire. Really? Are struck by gunfire. Ah. So I'm wondering. Uh, so this says the, tit the actual title is Three Dead in Indiana Mall Shooting Witnesses Kills Gunmen. They changed the title. They did. Because originally it said info, it yeah. said four dead in three people were fatally shot and two were injured Sunday evening at an Indiana mall after a man with a rifle opened fire in a food court and an armed civilian shot and killed him. Jared, pause real quick. Didn't Indiana just pass constitutional, constitutional carry yeah, after and didn't the Indiana the chief or whatever, chiefs of yeah. police? come out and rail against there was it one specific guy i can't remember what his title was if he mm. was a state employee or yeah well, i guess police or state employees he too. wasn't it he was the it seems to me check my mind brain that it was the head of the indiana police union that came out against is concealed is doug here listening right now no he's not dang it he would know the answer oh doug would know that your indiana guys would know but go on go on uh, the man entered the green. Yeah. 
The man entered the Greenwood Park Mall with a rifle and several magazines of ammunition and began firing in the food court. That was what Greenwood Police Department Chief Jim Eisen said. A 22-year-old from a nearby Bartholomew County who was illegally carrying a firearm at the mall shot and killed the gunman. Hey, man, nice shot. Four of those hit by gunfire were females and one was a male. He didn't immediately know the specific gender or age of those who were killed. And that's by he. What? What kind of weird word verbiage is that? You mean masculine, feminine, neutral? Here we go. We have a professional journalism. We have the Associated Press using the word gender incorrectly. Uh, When you're talking about the human animal, there's two, and it's sex. It's not gender. There's three uses of the word gender, masculine, feminine, and neutral. This doesn't apply here because it's not, we're talking, not talking about the written or spoken language. We're actually talking about human animals, but I digress. He said a 12 year old girl was among the two injured, both of whom are in stable condition. So it says four of those hit by gunfire, but 12 year old girl was one among the two injured. Mm. That, those, that math doesn't add up. So that's weird. Well, math. the other ones were dead, I assume. Mm. But there were, it says there were three dead, so that's a total of five. Mm. But, okay. Uh, police confiscated a suspicious backpack that was in a bathroom near the food court. Officers went to the mall about 6 p.m. for reports of the shooting. So let's pause right there. Sunday evening, 6 p.m., mall. How many people out there in my audience have concealed carry permits or you live in a state where you, you are just a citizen and you can carry a gun? But you don't because why, Jared? I'm just going to the mall. I'm just. Uh, it's Sunday. It's nobody Sunday. Will, nobody will do that on Sunday. What could happen? It's Lord's Day. Um, it's it's daytime. I there mean, are a whole the, the sun myriad. doesn't go down till nine o'clock. So yeah, there's a whole myriad of excuses. Um, I don't go to bad neighborhoods. I don't go to places where I shouldn't be. Uh, we've heard this literally, not figuratively, for years, decades. People say, well, uh, I don't go to places I shouldn't be. Well, what would, would that the mall be a place you shouldn't be? Uh, I don't I don't go to bad neighborhoods. Oh, uh, okay. Is this a bad neighborhood? Is this a place people shouldn't be? Well, I don't go to I don't go to bars. I don't go to stupid places and do stupid things with stupid people. So were the people in the mall that day? in stupid places doing stupid things with stupid people mm, no i'm gonna say no that's a good base rule to have uh, yeah well it's a good base rule for like living as people. a human but here's what people do and this is i know the human animal like every square inch of my glorious naked body and the human animal is Barf. constantly looking for excuses not to do the right thing the human animal is constantly looking for an excuse not to do the right thing that's not true because the right thing requires no, effort that's not true okay and whatever in this context carrying a firearm is the right thing that it's the true. right thing people don't carry guns because well i I don't go out looking. How many? I don't go looking for trouble. Okay. Yeah. That's that's somebody that is at the beginning of their journey of or firearm. Not it's, necessarily. There, there, are, there is. We there know are people. Zero people that I know that have mastered the craft that say those words. We. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't know the the that phallus have, with ears that have mastered the craft. I who said. teaches people to carry guns but doesn't the carry? There are zero people that I know that have mastered the craft. That say those words All right but there are people out there that portray in our themselves world as if they have mastered the craft. they they portray themselves as firearms instructors who don't actually carry guns yeah so kudos to this guy so this is what we know from this story number one the story's not done yet good guy with a gun stops bad guy with a gun number two uh indiana where the chiefs where they put out stories where law enforcement is 100 percent against uh they're were there well it's going to be the wild west and people are going to be killing each other over parking spaces and da, 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 da. Uh, the, that's why the police are there no it's not uh the real hero 
Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to give credit to this journalist because, uh, well, Eisen says that the real hero of the day is a Who's, citizen that was. So lawful, that was the chief, the chief of police. Yeah, lawful, let me finish the thing. It says the real hero of the day is a citizen that was lawfully carrying a firearm in that food court and was able to stop the shooter almost as he as soon as he began. That was the chief of police, Eisen. Now, the person that wrote this article uh, said this next paragraph, and I have to give credit to them. What was their name? Their name is uh, Associated Press is their name. It doesn't say. The mass shooting was just the latest to unnerve Americans in 2022. Schools, churches, grocery stores, and a July 4th parade in Highland Park, Illinois, have all become killing grounds in recent months. And then this is an important distinction here. It says, still... The reality of America's staggering murder rate can often be seen more clearly in individual deaths that rarely make the news, which is true. The things that the news report on are only the the big things that um, that affect less people, I guess it would be the right term to say. So Eisen is the police chief, and he said that the real hero of the day is the dude that shot the shooter. He shot the sheriff, but not the deputy. Yeah, that's right. You know who we need to find, Jared, and, and interview? We need to find, uh, we got a story here, and we, we, student of the gun, keep you informed of this. Uh, from February 25th, 2022, right after they passed, they passed it, constitutional carry in Indiana, ISP superintendent blasts GOP on constitutional ISP carry bill that's who it was okay. indiana state police superintendent uh and he said let's get a let's get a quote from this uh phallus with ears this uh doug carter he said it is often easy to talk about your support for public safety but if you choose to support this bill you're not supporting us who's us uh the the popo we called this guy out. We called this guy out for his elitism. And we asked him, and we asked, like, so you as a Indiana State Police Superintendent, you should be held personally responsible if someone is murdered and you don't stop it from happening. Well, no, of course not. The Supreme Court says that, that the police can be on the other side of the door while you're being murdered and do nothing and they're held harmless so on one hand we have police officers who say citizens carrying guns is the worst possible thing you could do it it puts our lives in danger and it does nothing for public safety and you say okay so you're responsible for keeping people safe and if anybody gets hurt or shot or murdered or raped it's your responsibility and you're liable no we're not the court says we are held harmless so you want the people disarmed and you also don't want to be held accountable for keeping them safe yes that's what we want you're a scumbag and Doug Carter. Someone needs to go find Doug Carter, the ISP. Uh, do an interview. Guy and say, hey, Doug, how, how do you feel about citizens being armed now? You still think it's bad for public safety? <laughs> after the, okay, what's not in here is after the debacle, the, the complete and total debacle and that's being nice in uvalde texas where police officers stood for 87 minutes and and check their instagram accounts i don't know what they're doing on their phone when children are being murdered 50 feet away and you're looking at your phone the video that was released was 77 minutes oh it was only 77 minutes okay so there's Fa facts are important 77 minutes of video that's just the oh, that's the video that was released yeah right that doesn't count when he crashed the car and the officer had a shot at him but didn't take it because he was afraid he might miss yeah oh good thing you didn't do that good thing no one is coming it is up to you 
you, you, I'm looking at you, have to be dangerous on demand. You need to get training. You need to have confidence in your own skills and abilities. Not the police, not someone else, you. And if you live in an area like New York where they say you must get down on your knees and beg us for permission and maybe we'll give it to you, leave or fix your state. And this is um, this is amazing. Would you say this falls into the category of irony, Jared? How we have law enforcement saying that's a terrible idea and citizens shouldn't be carrying guns. And then a citizen stops a potential mass murder because what were they going to do if that guy wasn't there? Sit, like surround the, yeah, the mall knows. while the guy walked around indiscriminately murdering people? I want to know if he if he's a, a pink ponytail freakazoid like the guy in uh, in Illinois. Do you notice the Highland Park, Illinois shooter's picture just whoosh, disappeared? Whoosh, it disappeared. Because the there. murderer in Highland Park, Illinois, was a left-wing woke freakazoid. There is no uh, picture or name of the shooter in this instance. Well, give him time. Give him time. Because this was just yesterday, right? Yeah, this was just yesterday. So it's a Sunday afternoon at a mall. Is that a place that uh, you shouldn't? And I, Now, my, my question is there, Jared, does this mall have a no-guns policy? Who knows? Most malls do. What was the name? Is it Greenwood? Now, I've or heard. Or I've never actually seen a sign at a mall. Yeah, I've heard they exist <laughs> Have somewhere? you ever no. seen a sign at a mall that said you can't carry? I never have. I, I've heard tell, and what they won't bring up, because it will make them look stupid. You see, if they say, oh, well, the, the mall in question has a strict no weapons policy. Well, did that stop the lunatic from the rifle from walking into the food court? Well, no, the, the policies don't actually stop bad people from murdering good people. The policies stop good people from being able to defend themselves. Oh, okay. America's staggering murder rate. Again, if you remove the city of Chicago, the state of, Il of Illinois, basically the whole state of Illinois, if you remove Chicago, Cook County, Philadelphia, New York, San Francisco, and most of New Jersey, from the stats, America's shooting murder rate goes way down. But we're not supposed to talk about that. What we're not supposed to talk about is the fact that more people were killed in Chicago last weekend than were shot in this mall, but we're not going to talk about that. Greenwood Mall says, while visiting, this is the code of contact. conduct. The center is committed to providing an enjoyable shopping experience for our guests, while visiting this mall, the following general activities will not be accepted. Violations of the law, any activity that threatens the safety of our guest tenants and or employees, any activity that threatens well-being of the property, any activity that disrupts our pleasant family-oriented shopping environment, any activity inconsistent with the general purpose of the property, which is shopping, dining, visiting theaters, or offices for business purposes, any activity that would disrupt the legitimate business of the property and its tenants, Examples of specific activities that are prohibited include, but are not limited to, disruptive profanity, vulgar, or threatening language, unnecessary blocking walkways, roadways, or storefronts, running, horseplay, or disorderly conduct of any nature, excessive loitering, operating unauthorized recreational and or personal transportation vehicles in the shopping center, no firearms or illegal weapons. What about legal weapons? The... Uh, that's a good question. No firearms or illegal weapons. What's an illegal weapon? Nuclear warheads, I guess. How could an inanimate object be illegal or illegal? Yeah. It's not an action. It's an inanimate object. It's a thing. So you want to juxtapose this. So the Indiana mall shooting, 
Now, on one hand, this is good because it demonstrates how hopefully a good percentage of America will read the whole story and say, wow, it's a darn good thing that 22-year-old was armed and stopped this guy. The exact same time this was going on in Indiana, just one state over, seven killed, 25 wounded in Chicago. Hmm. Is that national news today? Is that news in, if you don't live in Illinois or Chicago, is the seven killed, 25 wounded top headline of your local news today? Obviously, the answer is no. The answer is no, it's not. Because, well, we don't talk about that. And they were in shootings, not just. Yeah, I was like, well, maybe they didn't use guns. (laughs) They shouldn't. I mean, they still died, Mm. right? No. So... We had three dead, which is terrible, and two wounded, which is terrible, in Indiana. Top news story nationwide. Seven killed, more than double, and 25, 10 times the number wounded in Chicago. Not going to talk about it. Why aren't we going to talk about it? Well, two reasons. Number one, we're not going to mention it because we don't want to talk about who's doing the shooting. And we don't want to talk about the fact that Chicago has all these super awesome, fantastic gun laws, and it's still not stopping the crime. We don't want to talk about it because the Democrats have been in charge of Chicago for, what, 100 years? And they've run it into the ground. Don't want to talk about that. So we're going to ignore it. But the fact of the matter is, when you put a line in a story that says the 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 plague of gun violence or the out of control gun violence or the da 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 da, da in America, pull out Chicago, watch the figures go down. Pull out New York City, watch the figures go down. Pull out Philadelphia, remove Philadelphia, Trenton, New Jersey, Atlanta, Memphis, San Francisco. Pull those cities out. Those little tiny cities, pull them out of the whole country and watch the numbers plummet into the basement. See, but the whole country has to be disarmed because Democrat-run cities are shooting galleries. Speaking of which, um, not today, but coming up very soon, we have a story um, where there's a company a woke PC, never met a Democrat I didn't love company that is being forced to close stores in Democrat run cities because their employees don't feel safe. Oh, what? It's crazy. So moral of the story today, crossbreed holsters, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, if you're a responsible adult human and you have other people that you're responsible for, This man, this 22-year-old, just saved the lives of innumerable strangers. Innumerable strangers. I don't know if he had family with him or if he didn't. I don't know. But he he saved their lives by carrying and doing what needed to be done. Uh, And being skilled enough to. And being skilled enough to put the bullets on target. 